G'day guys, welcome back. I thought I'd have a little play with some alcohol inks today because as you know, my most of my things are packed in, in the garage, up, up in the shed, storing until my studio is finished. So I've got some alcohol inks and I thought I would do some Petri ex um, experiments. Um, I'm using the Promarine. I haven't used it for Petri's before. So, um, if you're watching my other videos, you'll know that I'm trying to use up some of my older resins while I can. Um, so yeah, I haven't tried it for Petri's before. So it's the Pro Marine Tabletop. So what I'm going to do is, it's, it's a one-to-one, -one, it's a pretty thick resin. So, like I said, I'm going to do Petri's. So I'm going to put a little bit in each of just these first five. Oops, I probably made up a bit much. Oh, I'll have to maybe do a bloom. That's okay, I can do a bloom. I'll just write down what time I started this. All right, that's about equal. They're about, um, look, they don't need a lot. These are pretty deep little molds, these ones. They're probably about half full. So that's, I'll just hang on to that. I can do a, a bloom with that. Um, 420, there we go. All right, so what I thought I would do, you can see my little numbers down here. Um, this one I'm gonna drop at zero minutes. This one at five, 10, 15, and 20. Okay, doke, so let's get started. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes. There we go, then I'll know to drop that one. Right, so I'm just playing with some inks that I don't like really, really like, just in case, you know, they're wasted. So I've got the Lats Resin, I've got Midnight Blue, Turquoise, and Green. And then I'm going to use the Sinker White. It's got Sea Deeper written on it, also by Lats Resin. Right, so let's just have a little go and see what happens with these guys. Oh, okay, you want to go there. All right, one. I don't want to put too much ink in. Nice hair. Get the lid off. Actually, you can stay with that. Oh my gosh, you're taking over. All right, one drop of green and a turquoise, and then a drop of green. Okay, that looks very similar. <laughs> I'll just put them up those on loosely. Actually, no. All right, so now I'm just going to drop uh, one drop of white on one drop of colour. Probably should give it a better shake. I did shake it. All right, let's do another one. Blue. Turquoise. Green. I'm trying to fill up the little negative space areas there. All right, another drop of white. All right, so that's it for that one. I'll just put these on loosely just so that the alcohol doesn't evaporate. I don't know if they do or not, but let's just do that. All right, so leave that and um, my alarm will go off at five minutes and we'll do the next one and then five minutes after that five minutes after that five minutes after that just to see what happens because i feel like doing something resin wise in my kitchen today just something little i can't do anything too big all my stuff's packed like i said but this is fine for today right the alarm's gone off Set it again for another five minutes. Push that. And let's do this again. Um, green was up there. Blue was down here. And turquoise was in the middle. I can see straight away that they're not spreading as much because the resin's getting thicker. I need to actually put two drops in. Let's do two just to cover it, otherwise it's not going to 
cover the surface, is it? Okay. And we'll just put a little bit of white over those. Now I'll go back in again and I'll sort of try and fill in the, the blank spots if I can. Hopefully the resin will spread a bit. That one's not spreading. Um, I, I'm going to swirl them. I may swirl. Well, I may swirl them. We'll see. And that'll kind of spread them around as well. Okay, so there we go. That's that one. Not terribly exciting so far, is it? <laughs> All right. I'll be back. In a few more minutes. Loud, isn't it? All right, here we go. Next one. I guess as I go along, I'm going to have to put a few more drops in. I just didn't really spread that very well, did I? Because it's just not spreading like it, it did on this first one, that's for sure. It's getting harder and harder to spread. It is. Right, that's one layer. I don't know if it makes a difference that this one's going to have more ink than that one. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, another layer. I'm trying not to put too much in, but just filling in my little blank areas. Go on, drop. Okay, set the timer. Right. And I think I'll swirl them all at the same time. I can't reach to press pause. Here we go. <laughs> I'll start a few minutes, well, a few seconds before the time is about to go off. Right, here we go. Green again. Three of you. Now this is the 15 minute mark. Blue. Turquoise. And a little bit of white over that. And then a little bit more green, a little bit more blue, and the turquoise. And just a little bit of white over the top. I don't think the white has to be on every single little drop. Right. I've got my little experiment going on just over there off camera. It's my leftover resin, so we'll see how that goes. If it works, I'll do a video on it, but I just had something in my head that I wanted to try. Right, so last little one. Just wait for the timer to go off. Um, in hindsight, I did, see this one only put like I think one drop of each. Oh gosh, scared me. It's so loud. See, it's really pulling away from the edges. So um, even though the resin was thinner, I probably should have put more colour in that one because I got a lot of clear around it. A bit of clear around this one, and then these two, there's no clear around those at all. All right, last one. This it has been 20 minutes. The resin's been sitting in there, so it's much thicker now and I'm spilling and making a mess really not spreading very much at all and 
find another row that's the green the blue and the turquoise so yeah as the resin gets thicker you have to use a lot more of the ink because it's just not spreading so I'm very interested to see what it's going to look like on the other side. Now I'm finished with all of this, so I don't need them anymore. I can pack everything up. Um, look, I don't think I don't think I want to swirl. Like I've done that, been there, done that, got the shirt to prove it. I know some people are intent on swirling on every single thing that they do, but I just want to see the effects that. I can get so I'm not going to swirl but um yeah that's it um I'll come back to you when it's time to demold I'll bring you down so that you can have a little look and see what's going on it's not terribly exciting so this is the one that I didn't wait that's the five minute one that's the 10 minute one, 15 minutes, and the one we just did at 20 minutes. So there we go. Righto, we'll see, uh, see what happens. I'll be able to unmold these later on today, no doubt. So keen to see how they look, if anything's changed at all. Hopefully something's worked. Oh no, so it's the next day. Let's have a look at what we've got. We may have nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I would like to actually try this experiment again and use pinata white and see if it makes any difference. So there you can see we've got the clear sides. The side didn't put very much ink in. Let's have a little look. Oh, look, we've got tiny little effects. Not very big effects at all, but tiny little effects. Can you see that? That's oh, a bit hard to see, isn't it? But they're there. Just not much droppage. See, the problem you have with these is if you don't put enough white in or your white's not heavy enough, it doesn't sink too much like this. But then if you use an ink that's really heavy, um, it sinks a lot and you get those blobs so it's a bit tricky I guess this one might be the same hey maybe let's have a little look at this one you can see down the side there that something's happening oh look we've actually we've actually got more more movement on that one this one had more ink though didn't it but you can see there that they're still a little bit it's dropped down. This particular mould, I mean, it's, it's one of those cheapy ones. You can see that it's not actually flat across the top. It's kind of um, concave. It's because, like, when you push on that, see how it's not actually, it's not thick enough to be flat. So the pieces that come out have got this little dent on top. I might make myself a, a nice round pendant mold what do you think right so that's that one there I like it better than the first one anyway right so that was the five minute mark let's have a look at the 10 minute mark but then as we've been going along we have been putting more ink in haven't we all right let's have a little look it's a bit I probably put too much ink in look it's a bit sticky on top the ink yeah if you put too much ink in the ink doesn't dry and it just sits on top. Oh, look at that. There's quite a bit of movement down the bottom there. Quite a bit. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. See, I don't mind the blobs when they like this, when they look like little mushrooms, but they stay in, in their colour, like they're white. They're, they're blue and this one's green. The real problem I have is when they're big white blobs, then I really dislike them. But that, I think that's quite pretty. 
So that was the 10 minute mark. All right, let's have a look at 15. I thought I'd get less droppage as they went along because the resin was going to be thicker, but this resin actually took quite a lot, quite a while to um, unmold, uh, like to be able to unmold. It was still quite soft last night when I went to bed. Okay, there's some droppage. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're getting the little the movement as you can see but it's not dropping as far as hitting the surface which is really nice depends on what look you want hey so we haven't actually got any blobs sitting on the surface they stop just before they get to the now top I would like a little bit more movement though I think I prefer that one best so far because we've got a lot of movement happening. All right, last one. Get him out. So this one here was the 20 minute one. Hmm, not very much. What's that down there? Oh no, that's just, oh okay, a bubble. <laughs> I had a bubble, I didn't even notice. There's not much, not much dropping down at all, is there? Well, that's that thing I can see on the opposite side. One little thing dropped down. All right, let's have a look. Okay, <laughs> uh, there we go. It's the surface of a unknown planet. <laughs> We've got some dark over there where there's no white see that so it gives that little look as if it's a a river a deep river between the areas of land so there we go so no pretty much no droppage at all except for this little tiny little cluster here So there you go that's them so that was with the let's resin sinker so I'm going to do them again same thing 0 5 10 15 20 same resin same colored inks but I'll instead of using the sea deeper sinker white from let's resin I'm going to use the pinata and um, we'll do them again and see if there's any difference so my favorite my pick of the bunch is this guy because i really like how we've got some movement but look too much too much ink it's coming off still uh, if that happens to you and you really like your piece just put a piece of a little bit of clear resin over the other side and like trap that alcohol ink in so there we go there's my favorite so i have got these cute little fish look look at them I ordered these from um, Amazon the green one and a red one and a yellow one and then this one is pink and purple and there's a little pink one they're only tiny as you can see and the good thing about these is they're flat on the back how good's that so I thought I would put one of these in sitting on top now ideally you would do it um, you know before your resin set up um, now there's a lady on my Facebook group called I don't know if she calls herself Susan or Suzanne but Susan Visser Visser I'm sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong she does these amazing polymer clay fish. You've probably seen them. And uh, she's actually said she's going to send me some, so I'm so excited. And thank you so much, Susan. Looking forward to getting those. But in the meantime, because I'm not very patient, I've ordered these little guys from Amazon. Now, this, as you can see, because it was only one of those El Cheapo molds, it's not level on the top and there's a bit of a dip there. So I thought that would be the perfect spot to put a little fishy and then dome over the top so that's what I'm going to do and I think I like 
the green one. I tried all the colours and I just think that the pale green looks nice. See, it's a bit dark. So I've decided to go with the green one. Now I've got a tiny little bit of resin that's pretty much dried. It's kind of a bit dry and sticky over from another project this morning and I'm just going to put it on that. It's actually just a little bit of runoff over here on my foil. I was making some pendants and I had a little bit of runoff so just going to <laughs> use a tiny bit of that just to just to stick it down otherwise um, I'm worried it might float away so there we go so I think that's a, a good alternative to um, you know doing an extra layer of resin and waiting for it to set up so there we go so he is higher as you can see he's higher than the side but I'm hoping to dome and if it doesn't cover the whole thing and he sticks out a little bit, well, so be it. But like I said, I'm waiting for my other fish to arrive and then we'll do a, do a proper one, hey? So you can order these in like just yellow or just green, but um, I just ordered the little mixed pack. I've ordered some more. I've got some more coming because they're so cute. All right. Um, I've got some resin. It's way too much resin, obviously. It's the Platinum 360 Plus. And I did 25 grams of A and 11 grams of B. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, I got way too much. But it's really hard mixing up a tiny little amount. So here we go. Just going to pour gently over the top. Now when you're doing doming, you have to make sure that your surface is very, very level. It's not like when you're doing a coaster and you can be out by a millimeter or two. The side of the coaster will hold your resin. So these, you know, if it's not level, your resin's just going to run over the top. It's going to run down the sides, I should say. So do a little puddle. I like to push it out to the edges. Um, make sure that you're using a nice doming resin like a top coat, art coat, something like that. Something that's nice and thick will work better. Some of the other resins that are a little bit thin, they may sort of pull away from the side and you'll be left with like a little blank area. So don't put too much on. Make sure it's gone all the way to the sides and then you can add a tiny bit more. Gee, what am I going to do with all of this? Uh, I wonder if it's enough to do a bloom. Not much you can do with such a tiny bit, is there? But possibly a little bloom. Go right up to that edge. Once you break the tension on the sides, um, your resin will just all pour out. So try not to break that tension on the sides. Just push it up to the very edge. Kind of go over the edge. I wonder if I could do a tiny bit more. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to torch it. Now, the other thing, when you torch, um, do it just really quick like that. Get rid of your bubbles because what's going to happen is you're going to heat your resin and it's going to want to flow. So it's going to want to flow off the edge. So be really careful that you're not going to heat it. I'm just going to have a little look at from the side. Oh, it's pretty good. I can see a teensy tiny little bit of the fish sticking up so I'm going to see if I can add just like a drop more. I'm going to go drop by drop. All right I'm going to get you down so that you can have a little look a bit closer. so cute doesn't he right now let's have a look it's always good if you've got some light source behind so that you can see is that a bubble looks like a bubble 
So you look at a cross like that and you can see any little marks and things. Let's see if we can get rid of that bubble. Oh, no, it's not his bubble. It's not a bubble. It's his top of his head. Okay, it needs another little drop. But that's, that's what it looks like when you're doming. The sides like that are rounded. Yeah, that's his little... I think that's his fin actually sticking up there. Sorry, I'm ju jumping all over the place. I'm trying to zoom you in, you see. Okay, so I'll pop another little bit on. Actually, that looks like there's a bubble in, in the middle there. I've got a toothpick and get that little bubble out. It does look like a bubble, doesn't it? Just got caught in there. Did I get it? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Excuse my dogs barking. Now that I'm working in my kitchen, my dogs are right there next to me. Okay, so I'm going to add another little drop, drop by drop, um, and see if I can cover that tiny little fin. But um, if I can't, well, so be it. And um, I am making a, a new mould. So that will be, be looking forward to that when it gets here. But there we go, that's what it looks like so far. Looks really cute, doesn't he? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know if I'll do a, a final reveal because you've already seen that. But there he is. So, yeah, I'll, um, I'll do more of these when my little fishies from Susan arrive. Okay, thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.